What I want to do this morning is to walk you through the history of how we got to ICWA, and then talk a little bit about the fact that ICWA really is best practice. 1958, the Indian Adoption Project was created. And this was a joint effort of the Bureau of Indian Affairs and the Child Welfare League of America. In the 1950s, CWLA was the cutting edge thinking, the most progressive ideas about how to properly raise children. And the project had as its goal the placement of Indian children taken from homes that were, quote, deemed unsuitable. What happened was that the states were actually paid by the Bureau of Indian Affairs to remove Indian children under the rubric of neglect. Transracial placements were encouraged because the goal was to get those kids away from their families and away from their communities, put them in a white home where they then had a chance at a modern life. During this time period, 25 to 35 percent of all Indian children in the country were removed from their families. Western science has finally gotten around to the place the tribal people have known for a long time. Relationships, family, are what are essential for healthy children to grow. What's happened though is Western science is up here, tribal traditions are over here, so we have people who think they're helping kids, removing them into institutions or stranger care because it's already licensed. What we're actually doing is we're hurting kids in the name of helping.